you do 1500? All right, I'll do uh, 16, you do 21. All right, we'll do. For decades, air traffic controllers have been issuing clearances to departing aircraft by voice. Got 772 Las Vegas, ground As the airspace around our nation's airports has gotten more complex, so have those clearances. And the radio frequencies used to deliver those clearances have at times become crowded. To the pilot and the controller, frequency congestion is sometimes a real, real problem, and it's unpredictable. Today, the controller radios the clearance to the pilot, who jots it down on a pad and reads it back to the controller to make sure he got it right. Once confirmed, the pilot manually ensures the clearance is correctly entered into the aircraft's flight management computer. If the original clearance needs to be revised, say due to weather, the entire process has to be repeated, one at a time, for each aircraft in the departure queue. It's a time-consuming, labor-intensive exercise that can exacerbate ground delays and leave the door open to misunderstood instructions. But that's changing right now. FedEx has become the first U.S. air carrier to begin receiving departure clearances via data communications, with full operational trials now underway at Memphis International Airport. This is the first of a number of one-year trials aimed at testing this next-gen transformational technology in the operational environment.